Yo, what's going on? Vault Dwellers, Pandora here, and today I got a very special video for you. We're going to be going out, we're going to be getting up to 50 cap stashes. That's a whole lot of caps, especially if you got the right perk cards. I ain't going to make this intro too long because we got to get into it, so let's go. Just follow along. Okay, so we're going to start out in Morgantown. We're going to come down to Big Al's Tattoo Parlor, and you just come to the back of it, jump up on the roof. And the first cap stash is right on the top there. And we're just going to follow a nice little path, get a bunch of cap stashes here in Morgantown. So I had to make some cuts, so some stuff will look a, a little different, like daytime wise and stuff like that. But I, I did it to make it a lot easier for you guys, because when I looked back at the footage, some of the locations were really confusing to find, because the Xbox DVR just sucks. So, I went through it again with the Elgato. So, as you can see, the other one was on the bus underneath the uh, seat back there. Let's kill these ghouls real quick. I honestly hate when people leave the fighting in the in the cut, but for some reason I did it. So, I, I, I stooped down to their level. So, when you hit the tents, inside the big tent here, there's the next cap stash. And then from the tents, you're going to want to go east. Up to the end of this building, you're going to see the garage. So if you don't have marsupial, you're going to have to jump on that hose, jump over onto the roof. Come over to the fire escape. Like I said, there's one of those cuts. Go up the fire escape. Go all the way to the top. And then if you don't have marsupial, you're going to see a plank. Jump onto the plank. Jump over to the left onto the sign. And then go up onto the roof. There's the plank there. If you do have marsupial... You can just jump up there like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And there's the next cap stash. Big one too. Nice. Okay, so now we're at the Morgantown High School. You just walk in the front door. There's a staircase. You go up the staircase. You're going to see the hole in the floor right there. You go up that staircase right there. You're going to see a red door on your right. Lock pick level zero. So just pick that real quick. Look at that skill. And the cap stash is here in the corner. So from outside the high school, just right out the front doors, I'm going to come over here to the right. And right beside this bus up the staircase here, there is another cap stash on the table. Now back at the high school, run across the street, you're going to see this hole in the wall, sneak through there, just keep following the building, you're going to see a staircase, go up that, <clears throat> and then jump up onto the uh, monorail track, and then the next cap stash is right behind that Nuka-Cola sign, so what you're going to want to do, hop through this building, Hop over the edge, and then underneath this tent. So you're going to want to go back up the same way you just got up there, and then just continue on past the building. So there's the building. Just continue on past it. Take the right track. And soon you will come across a brick building. From the track, you're going to have to jump across. Make sure you, you time it right, because if you drop, it will potentially kill you. So there's the roof. Just hop on over. A lot easier with marsupial. Another fire escape. Go up it. All the way to the top. And then underneath the chair, boom, cap stash. Okay, so basically just past that staircase, you went on to the monorail. Just keep going down the road. You're going to see the donut shop there. Keep going down the road a little bit. And the staircase to the right, you're going to go all the way to the top. Invisible enemy killing me. Gotta love it. And then go up that ramp to the right. Turn around. 
and then you're going to want to jump up here and then drop down on this roof and you got another cap stash okay the last one is at Mama Dolce's food processing plant um, I assume most of you know where this is I've, most most players have probably done feed the people at least I hope you have so in these metal shacks in the front of the uh, factory the one with the fusion generator behind it go in there and then into the office and it's on top of the uh, filing cabinets <clears throat> so now we're at Grafton station as soon as you spawn in just keep going straight and then you're gonna see these train cars up here it's gonna be in this train car right here once I get in it and over to the left right there right out in the open from the train cars you just keep going straight till you hit the buildings the door with the nuka cola machine beside it go up the stairs go up the stairs yet again and then all the way in the back room it should be on the desk but for me it's underneath the desk And there's your next cap stash. <clears throat> so from Grafton Station, we're over at Charleston Shooting Club. Right beside the shooting range, there's a building. Just jump up the fire escape or the uh, roof if you got marsupial. And then the cap stash is up here on the vent. It's kind of hard to get, so I suggest just shooting it down or using grenades or something. Fall so slowly. So now we're up beside an energy plant, and there's 10 of them here, so it's a good one. So once you spawn in, right under, right at the red bridge, you're going to go up to the tents, and right beside the tree, there's your first one. <clears throat> and then from there, you're going to go straight over to these tents over here, and the tent on the right, it's going to be underneath the table. And if you start out at the reactor, go over to the left, towards the front gate, there's the fusion core generator, or not generator, producer. So there's the next cap stash right there on these bins. And then going from there, just turn around, go back towards the reactor. Holy, that sounded real Canadian. So if somebody powered up the power station, you can't go in there, it'll just murder you. So I wouldn't try it. You'll be able to tell because there'll be a lot of steam coming out of it. But you just basically go in through the bottom here. Go all the way up to the top. Keep on going. And then up here by this machine, up by these rad bins, I guess. Boom, right there. So just exit the same way you came in, and then go to the next reactor, which is right beside it. You'll see a doorway right there. Same thing, go up the stairs. First cap stash is right here. And then from there, go on down to the left. Just keep following it. All the way to the top. And in this room right in here. Should be on top of the safe, but obviously it got knocked down for me there. Okay, so back out at the front gate, go over to the left here, go all the way up this ramp. Same thing, we're going all the way to the very top here. <clears throat> Go 
jump in between these machines and then you're gonna see a ramp right there so that's gonna be our starting point for up here so basically just go up the ramp go all the way to the top and in that blue building up there careful there's a turret on the on the wall there it can mess you up if you're low level and then in here in the filing cabinets back behind me yeah, right in the bottom there so starting back at the bottom of the ramp there yep come down to the right and then you're gonna see this little I guess it's like a conveyor belt but we're gonna use it as a bridge come over back behind these pillars and guess what we're gonna find back here a bobblehead and another cap stash what what Okay, so back at the at the ramp for reference. This time we're heading over to the right. Drop down. Kill these scorched. And then jump over these pipes. I would not suggest jumping there. Do it where the uh, the other one's broken. Yeah, right over there. And then on this uh, machine right here on the back of it, cap stash right there. And then from that cap stash, just turn around, go down this ramp. And guess what we're going to find here? The last cap stash for Poseidon Energy. It's right over here beside this beam. Continuing on, we're going to go down to Tyler County Fairgrounds. And uh, we're going to walk around aimlessly for the first couple seconds here. Because I forgot where it was. But um, basically when you walk in... Don't go this far in, you're going to see a little hut. It's uh, right there, the big Nuka-Cola one. I didn't even notice it was a Nuka-Cola rocket. But yeah, it's in there in the little stand, so you want to grab that one. There it is on the map. It's up by uh, Vault 76, nice and easy. Okay, so this one, it's right underneath the bridge, like the big bridge in Flatwoods. Just spawn on it walk down the little ramp and then you'll see the door I think it's a level 2 lock yeah level 2 having some troubles so open it up go straight through and it's on the desk back here okay now we're in the ash heap so this is the uh, red rocket station down there there is um, also a mod that spawns in here as well up by the uh, crafting station there it is on the map, way down at the bottom. <clears throat> so now we're at the Freak Show. This one's easy. It was really weird. There was a rad toad there that uh, wasn't hostile. Kind of cool. But uh, in the back of this truck, cap stash. So this one, it's the uh, Charleston Herald. As soon as you spawn here, you're going to see the red arrows on the floor. Just follow them into the building. And then up here on this uh, dresser, there's the first cap stash. Second one, walk down where you just came up. Don't walk that way. Follow the arrows. So there's three of them here. Just keep following. So in the computer right there. So once you spawn at this location, you're going to see the ruined building. Just climb into it. It's on the top floor. Now we're at the middle cabins. A couple Yao Guai here, so watch out for that. Go up to the first cabin and in the fire pit. Or not fire pit, in the stove. Cap stash. Now we're at the overlook cabins. Up there on the shelf, it's really hard to get. You gotta jump on those filing cabinets if you wanna if you wanna get it easy. But there it is on the map. Next one's inside the Riverside Manor. Just go inside the building, walk up the staircase, and first door on the right. Walk through the wall, and it's underneath the bed.
So the next one is also at Riverside Manor. It's outside. Just uh, walk around back to the garage. That's not the garage. This is the garage. So come in back here and it's behind the car on the pile. And finally, the third one at Riverside. Basically, when you spawn in, just walk down the road. Cut off right here and you should see a wrecked train come down and it's inside the train car. So the next one is that sugar maple. Just spawn in, you'll see the building. Come around to the back of it. And it's inside the safe in the pond. Pretty easy one to get. So now we're at White Springs. This one is over by the service entrance. Hop up top onto the building. And it's over here by the uh, skeleton. This so next one is also at White Springs. Go inside the resort, and then as soon as you get down the stairs, turn right. You'll see the the robot standing there, the uh, locked door behind him. Just open it up. It's uh, level three, so you're gonna need to have that maxed out. And it's inside the filing cabinets or locker. My bad. So the next one is just up the road at Blackwater Mine, and the first cap stash is going to be up beside this dumpster. So from that cap stash, we're going to walk over, and the second cap stash is beside this barrel. So this one requires you to go inside Atlas uh, Observatory, just go inside the side entrance, jump up to the second floor over here. Walk around, watch out for the turrets and the gutsies. If it's gutsies, I would suggest coming here with a friend because they are powerful. I died here quite a few times. If it's the liberators, easy as heck. But inside the bathroom, beside the toilet, you'll find the next cap stash. So now we're at West Tech. I love West Tech. It's where I come to do my grinding. Good place to get lead, good place to get gunpowder, good place to get legendaries. Overall, great place. I love it. So just come in this uh, trailer here, and the cap stash is usually on that filing cabinet. For me, it's on the floor. Now we're going to go into West Tech. So basically, once you get to this point where you kill the uh, two super mutants up here, and you can go on that terminal, uh, just come back around down here. Don't jump down there. Come back into this room, and the cap stash will be on that shelf right there. So now we're at Dire Chemical. Basically, once you spawn in, just run down the road. And once you get into this uh, locker room type deal, go into the office over here and it'll be in the corner. So now we're at the steakhouse. A bunch of super mutants here. Once you uh, take care of them, come behind the counter. You'll uh, have to lock pick the store. I'm pretty sure it's a level three lock. And it'll be sitting right there past the door for you. So also at the steakhouse, just come out that door, turn to the right, you'll see all these desks right on that desk there. So that's where the other one was. So now we're up at the uh, <clears throat> East Penitentiary. Basically just come in through the door, go over to the left, and then you'll see all these um, basically like little bungalows, I guess. Inside that first one to the right, 
right on the table there. Now go back outside to the, uh, I guess, the courtyard. And um, you'll see this building over here with the tower above it. Come over into the basketball court over here. Go up the uh, broken down building. And then over here in the tower. There it is. So that's all the cap stashes I know of right now. If I find more, I'll definitely post a second video. But if this video helped you, definitely leave a like and subscribe because I'm going to drop some plan videos. I'm going to drop some magazine videos, bobblehead videos, resource videos. It's all coming. So stay tuned. Peace.